When I was a child, my bedroom was very pretty. I had Laura Ashley wallpaper and it was very girly. And my mum's friend used to give me her empty bottles of Coco Chanel and I used to put them on my dressing table. I was always getting my leotard on and, and going dancing. You know, even with the dancing, I was never the best dancer. But my mum and dad used to really give me a lot of confidence. I believe that I could achieve anything. And the support of my family has always been incredible. You know, whenever I said I can't do it, my dad just wouldn't, he wouldn't hear it. What do you mean you can't do it? Why can't you do it? And I do that to our children as well. You know, I've never been the sort of person to, to give up. I had lots of nicknames, some probably inappropriate. My teenage look went through lots of different guises and kind of moments, from green hair to big hair to earrings to ruffles to being quite austere to oversized to tartan. It went through lots of different phases, so multiple childhood looks. I remember first reading Vogue when I went to art school at 16 um, and feeling like I just discovered a world that I didn't know existed. My work is kind of driven by my emotions and how personally I relate to clothes and dress and how I can translate inspirations into garments and make them functional things. This alley behind Dartman Square, which is a park that we used to climb over the fence and go knacker drinking with like flagons of cider. We used to hang out there, girls and boys just running up and down the lanes, you know, teasing each other. Boys all had little BMXs with pegs on the back and all the girls used to stand on the pegs and you know, just not really doing anything. It was before phones, before Facebook, just, yeah, chatting, really. I went to a high school because I failed a thing which is called 11 plus, which they do here, but in rocket style, <laughs> failed it. So I ended up having to go to the high school, which my mother was a teacher at. I always have this thing where I kind of need to fail to succeed to kind of prove that I can, through learning, get there. Now, when it comes to my relationship with gender and fashion, I have never, and I, you know, as much as like it keeps becoming a bloody trend. It's not really a trend, it's just like, I just believe that garments are for garments sake and anyone can wear them. That was my whole thing when I started uh, doing clothing. It was not like we're, I was going to play it as a costume thing or glamorize it, it was just like, you know, it was just about proportions. I grew up in the deepest South London. And the Elephant Castle was really the first um, metro line, the first tube. So even to get to the Elephant, I mean, you walked, you took overground trains, you cycled. I mean, for me, it was like the opening of another world. I realised there was a world out there once I got to the Elephant. Oh, the buses don't look like they used to. Those automatic doors and things, my goodness. I mean, I remember jumping on, like not paying, do you know what I mean? You run upstairs, have a fagalata, and then run back down and jump off when you wanted to. You can't do that anymore with all these fancy doors. I did have a go. The doors did open while I was posing nonchalantly for British Vogue. And they were ever so friendly. 